Hello class, this is section 3.4 and we are going to go through an example of a mass spring problem where we have free motion or undamped motion. In other words, there is no friction and there is no damping. So we consider a mass spring system with a mass 2 kg and a spring constant 8 newton meter. And by the way, um, when you see the word frictionless here, it should clue you in that the, there be, there, there's no damping constant. We have initial condition x0 equals uh, 5 centimeters or 0 0.05 meters and v0 is 0 so there's no initial velocity. So the problem asks to find the period, the frequency and the amplitude of the motion of the mass. Period just refers to how long it takes for the mass to complete one cycle. Frequency is 1 over the period and amplitude is how far the mass travels from the middle point. We'll explain it as we go further down the problem, so don't worry if uh, you can't remember your physics. Let's first figure out what the function xt is, so that's the goal for today. So our, function, our differential equation is going to be mx double prime plus cx prime plus kx equals 0, but it's frictionless, so c equals 0. We just have to worry about the these two terms. M is going to be 2 2 kg mass and K is going to be 8. That's a spring constant. And obviously we can divide by 2 to make things a bit easier. So we make our usual substitution here x equals e r t and we have to consider the characteristic equation r squared plus 4 equals 0 and this just gets us r equals plus or minus sorry r squared is going let, let me make, let me wait one step make things a bit more clear r squared is minus 4 so r is going to be just plus or minus 2 times the square root of minus 1. Let's put a 0 here if it makes you more comfortable. So it's going to be, the solution is going to be xt equals to c1 cosine of 2t plus C2 sine of 2t. And you can think of multiplying an e0 here if it makes you more comfortable because that's what the, the real part here is but we don't have to worry about that. So this is our general solution. The next step is to try to figure out what the C1 and C2 are going to be, and we have to use our initial conditions here. And this, these are our initial conditions. So x0 equals 0 0.05 and uh, v0 equals 0. In other words, initial conditions are going to be t equals 0, x equals 0 0.05, and v equals 0. And v is obviously going to be x prime. So let's use the first initial condition first. So when t equals 0, x0 is going to be c1 cosine of 2t is going to be 1 plus c2 sine of 2t is going to be 0 and this just gets us 0 0.05 equals c1 and that's immediately our solution for c1. For the next initial condition we are going to have to take a derivative of both sides x prime of t equals minus c1 sine 2t let's put, oh sorry it's minus there's enough space there minus c1 times 2 sine 2t because we bring the 2 from the inside by the chain rule plus 2c2 times sine 2 um, let me write that down a bit differently c2 times 2 cosine 2t 
And we know that when x prime of 0, this becomes 0, and this becomes c2 times 2 times 1. So in other words, we just get 0 equals 2 times c2, and therefore c2 must equal 0. So given that this was our general solution, our specific solution is going to be x of t equals to 0 0.05 cosine 2t. All right, and uh, let's figure out the period, the frequency, and the amplitude. So xt is just going to be the cosine function. And t equals 0 is here. And this is going to be 0 0.5. This is going to be negative 0 0.5. So the first question is, uh, what is the period? So the period is basically the amount of time it takes to go through one cycle. So this is one cycle. And we know that cosine goes through one cycle when the, when the, in 2 pi seconds, when the time equals to 2 pi. So the question is, what value of t will get you 2 pi? And the answer is going to be t equals pi. You can bas basically, the way to think about period is, you normally have your uh, function in terms of cosine and sine, and you think to yourself, what t will make the inside 2 pi? In this case, t equals pi will make the inside 2 pi. That's our period. Our frequency is equal to 1 over the period. And this is just going to be 1 over pi. Our amplitude is the amount where the mass goes away from the middle point, and it's just going to be, well, this is not, this is 0.05, not 0 0.05, 0 0.05, yes. This is just going to be the constant in front of the cosine. It's going to be 0 0.05 meters, and that's going to be the answer to our problem.